You uh, are doing your homework, I hope. I'm trying. I'm not real good at math problems. Mathematics is simply a matter of seeing the pattern or sequence and following it to its conclusion. Huh? Let me see your problem. You want to help me? Why not? Why would you? For one of your jelly beans, I would help you solve half a dozen problems. Don't take the red one. They're my favorite. Now, let me see your book. So you don't care for uh, mathematics? Mm -mm. What do you hope to be when you grow big? Well, what do you want to be? I don't know what I'd be good at. Well, what would you like to be? You must have a dream. Not a real one. Do you like school? Not anymore. I didn't care for school either. My teachers were drill sergeants. No sense of the joy of learning. Joy? I don't see a lot of joy in it. What I've seen, school won't make a difference to me anyway. Oh, there is great joy in learning. Believe it or not, even in mathematics. I think I got enough math to get by already. Oh, could anybody be happy simply to get by? Especially if one accepts that mathematics may hold the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. I can't imagine why Dr. Einstein has taken such a shine to our little girl. I think maybe he sees her as a kindred spirit. Having been oppressed himself, he has empathy for anyone who may have been similarly disadvantaged. A colored child, an old Jewish man. No doubt he sees their similarities more than their differences. Well, they seem to enjoy each other. Yes. Partly they do. To me, nature itself is a mathematical puzzle. With remarkably straightforward and elegant solution. Can anyone ever figure out all the secrets of nature? Where the universe begins and ends? What lies beyond? I believe so. God, they say, is mysterious, but I do not think he is malicious. Are you a religious man, sir? I revere nature. I believe in the possibility of harmony and a brotherhood of mankind. Then you are. If you say so. And now, introducing Lanny Wills. <laughs> Parents, teachers, students, and honored guests. The subject of my display is light. Light is a wonder of nature an inspiration to students of science and God. It is a wonder both ancient and mystical. Traveling across space at over 186,000 miles per second, or 300,000 kilometers per second. It is the measuring stick against which all physics are relative. It is the source of life on this planet. But the thing I like most is its color. People think light has no color. But they're wrong. True, light is usually not blue, or green, or red. But as we add colors, we see. It is only when all the colors of the spectrum are combined together, blended in harmony, that we finally achieve pure, clear, and perfect light.